It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie Des Rocks and it's a bottle of their Triple Imperial Belgium Abbey Dark Ale coming in at 10% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woohoo! Look at it. Bloody. I could have been a bit quicker with it, couldn't I? I suppose that was half me messing about, showing you the smoke on the opening, and then all of a sudden, poof, it just kind of let go on me. So I think if I grab my glass very quickly, we may, may have avoided that. Listen to that hiss and fizz. So, a Belgian Abbey Dark Ale Brasserie Des Rocks Triple Imperial. Look at that for a fantastic beer. Lots of carbonation, one finger, slightly off white head, a cherry mahogany deep coloured beer. Cherry wood, you know? One finger tan coloured head. The beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all over the world. Um, we've reviewed lots of American beer, lots of beer from Italy and, and Britain, Belgium, here's a Belgian beer, uh, Germany, Poland, all over really, all over. So check them out in, in the description box of this video, beersofeurope.co.uk. On with the review. Shall we get the aroma on this fairly clear ale? With lots, look at that lovely carbonation. I want you to see that. There you go. Aroma. It smells really good. Really lovely beer. It's full of deep, kind of dark, mysterious, kind of forest fruits, raisin, plum, fig, prune. Probably none of them grow in the forest, but I like to romanticize things, you know? So lots of dark fruits coming through, lots of Belgium candied sugar. Good carbonation, is it really is. You can, I know you can't smell carbonation, but I can feel it kind of just tickling the underside of my nose. Oh, I just smell that all day. I could, I could just stick my nose in that all day, but we must drink it. Cheers, everybody. Oh. I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic Belgian beer. The more I drink this stuff, the more I've fallen in love with it. When I first started reviewing this beer, I wasn't a fan of it at all. Weiss beers, one the fact I know it's German, but kind of similar, very yeast forward beers. One not really a fan of German Weiss beers. I wasn't really a fan of blondes. Doubles, triples, Belgium dark ales. I just really struggled with the flavour profile. Getting my head, adjusting my head to what is going on in that glass of beer. There's so much. Even if you look back, and I don't mind saying this, even if you look back at my West Veteran 12 review, I wish I reviewed that beer now, today, this year. Not back when my good friend Brian Mujati, who's playing for the Ospreys now, sent me that bottle of beer back in, I think it was 2012. I think I was a tad too early to really appreciate that beer. Um, I might actually try and find another bottle and review it again. But... Go back and watch it, and you can probably see that I'm enjoying it, but I'm not quite understanding it. 
I've got it now. It's nailed. It's nailed in my head and I've learned to love these beers. They're just so full of flavour and depth and and it's a beer you really need to think about because there's so much going on. Cherry, oaky, Belgium candied sugar, spice on the back end. There's a dryness on the back of the palate. It's incredible. Biscuity, bready malts coming through. A little bit of bitterness coming from the hops on the back end. This is one incredible beer. And for the 10% beer, there's a little bit of a medium mouthfeel maltiness coming on here, but it's still increasingly, incredibly, that's the word, not increasingly, incredibly drinkable. It's an incredibly drinkable beer for 10% ABV. It's so easy drinking. No wonder, no wonder these Belgian cafes are famous for tourists visiting them and just ordering a beer and not realizing it's nine or ten percent and they have two and then they get up to use the loo or they get up to pay and leave and they end up feeling rather dizzy and then when they get outside in the fresh air bang down they go it's such a common story uh from belgium uh which which i always like i always it always makes me laugh um but the Belgian brewing tradition, I've been to Belgium a few times now, and their brewing heritage is one of, it's just magnificent. It's an absolutely magnificent, magnificent place. I'm talking about it all about Belgium now, and I've not looked at the back of the bottle. Yes, it's it's Sir Rocks, Belgium. Uh, Montignes Sir Rocks in Belgium. Good job I checked. It's available at beersofeurope.co.uk. I'm going to rate it. I'm gonna rate this beer and I'm gonna give it a big old stonking 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.